Okay, in this video we're going to show you how to set up your audio for phone calls, Bonadio virtual meetings, Brady Bunch, all of these things that you do through Jabber. Um, whether you're using Jabber as a phone or you've been invited to a Bonadio virtual room meeting, otherwise known as Brady Bunch, uh, we highly encourage you to use a headset when you're doing these things from your computer. Using a headset reduces the amount of feedback echo, it improves the sound quality, and it just aids in the flow of communication. If you don't have a headset, please submit a help desk ticket so that we can issue one to you. So uh, the first thing you're going to do, obviously, when you have a Bonadio virtual room meeting, you'll see which room you need to enter and what time. That should show up right in your Outlook calendar. Now when you're getting ready for this meeting, First thing you want to do is double check that your headset's plugged in. Now there's a few different types of headsets that, that, that are floating around the firm that you could use. You could use a Bluetooth headset. You could use a USB headset. Um, we also have analog headsets, which are like a one-prong headset. It goes into the audio port of your computer. And we also have earbuds. If there's a headset that you want that's your own, just verify that it's a safe device to use through Help Desk before you start using it on your Bonadio machine. So regardless of what type of headset you're using, make sure it's plugged into your computer or into your docking station. Either one is fine. The next step is to double check your audio settings in Jabber. In general, when you plug in your headset, the computer should switch over and start using it, but it's not always 100%. So you want to double check, double check your settings in Jabber. So you'll open up your main Jabber Hub window and click on the gear icon. Then go to File, Options. Once the Options window opens, you can click on the Audio tab, and you're going to see a few different options here. For ringers and alerts, we're not paying attention to that for this video. Uh, these are just personal preferences. But we are going to look at the speaker and the microphone. So let's look at the speaker first. For the speaker, you're going to see that um, basically what's listed here in the drop-down box is anything that will generate sound out of your computer. So it could be those speakers that are built into your laptop, could be speakers, external speakers that you have plugged in, or it could be a headset. At this time, my only option is the headset that I'm using. Okay, so I don't really have a choice of anything to use. I'm just going to use my headset. You will likely see additional settings here. For instance, if I just go in here real quick and adjust some of my settings. You don't need to do this, but I want to show you um, what this looks like. So give me one second. So now... I've actually adjusted some of my computer settings and you can see that I have two options here. One says speakers Jabra, which is my headset, and the other is speakers Realtek high definition audio. You don't really need to know what that is. Um, technically it's the sound card in your computer. But I just wanted you to be able to see that there are uh, multiple options that you may have to choose from. So how do you know which one to choose? Well, if you're not sure, because sometimes you'll see multiple options for Realtek High Definition Audio, your best bet is to hit this play button. When you hit play, a, sound, a song is going to play for you, and you'll hear the sound coming out of either your headset earphones or the speakers on your computer, either one. You want to make sure that you select the best option that will play the sound through your earphones. So if I select Jabra and I hit play, I can hear the sound coming through my earphones. You can't hear it because this is part of our recording here, but I can. So now I know that the correct device is selected, which is my headset. The other thing we're going to look at here is microphone. So that's the part of your headset that picks up your voice. And again, you're going to have multiple options here. So how do you know which one to choose? Right now, I have my headset selected, and I can tell that it's selected because every time I talk, these blue bars are moving up and down. The other way you can do it, you can, can say test one, two, three, but that's not always going to work for you because sometimes you'll see the bars move 
even if you don't have the right device selected. So the best thing to do is the tap test. So I'm just going to tap on my microphone. Okay, and you can see those buttons move. And so that means I have the right option selected. Now if I switch to this option, this webcam option, this is actually an external webcam I have plugged into my computer. I'm going to select it and I'm going to tap on it. You're going to see the bars move. So because I saw those bars move, that means that that is the device that's selected. We don't want to use that. We want to use the headset. So it's just kind of trial and error. First time you do this, it might feel a little bit silly, might be a little bit confusing, but the more you use the technology, um, the more familiar this process will become to you. Um, and also, you know, if you have your headset plugged in all the time to your computer, for the most part, you won't even have to check your settings. It should just work. Now, like I said, computers aren't always 100%. Um, sometimes settings change, and we do need to make those adjustments. But for the most part, these settings should remain the same for you. So just as a quick recap, to adjust your audio settings and make sure that you're using the correct device, um, you want to make sure that you have the correct speaker option. This is the sound that you're hearing. And you want to make sure that when you hit play here, that the sound you're hearing is coming through the earphones. That's how you know that you're using the correct device. For the microphone, you want to make sure you have the correct device selected. So when you click on the headset microphone you're using, those blue bars go up. If I were to switch this and click on my... Um, headset, you can see that the bars don't go up um, entirely. So that's a very helpful thing to know. When you're all finished, click apply and OK. Now you're ready to join your Bonadio virtual room meeting, otherwise known as Brady Bunch. If you have any questions, concerns, or need assistance, please don't hesitate to contact Katie Wheeler or the Help Desk at any time.